So, you know, I actually first knew uh, probably when I was about eight years old, I made my first vegetable soup with my mom, Hilda, um, who was still, was still cooking together uh, after all these years. And um, um, then I started working in a, in a bakery when I was 10, washing pots and pans. And when I was 12 years old, I started baking, and then I sort of realized that something was happening. Um, and then I started cooking and liked it. Then I cooked more, and I liked it. And then I went to school for cooking, and I liked it. And then all of a sudden, one day, I woke up, and I said, you know what? I really, really love this. Um, so I love cooking. Chef Emeril Lagasse received his first culinary experience from his mother, Hilda, when he was a boy growing up in the small town of Fall River, Massachusetts. As a teenager, he worked at a Portuguese bakery where he mastered the art of bread and pastry make baking. Upon high school graduation, Lagasse was offered a full scholarship to the New England Conservatory of Music, but decided to pursue a career as a professional chef. He earned a degree from the respected culinary fortress, Johnson & Wales University, and later received an honorary doctorate degree from the university. He polished his skills in Paris and Lyons before returning to the U.S., where he worked in several farm restaurants in New York, Boston, and Philadelphia. Building a reputation through his use of only the freshest products, he came to the attention of Ella Brenham, the doyen of New Orleans' culinary community. She persuaded 26-year-old Emerald to move to the Big Easy, where for nearly eight years he presided over Ella and Dick Brenham's legendary restaurant, Commander's Palace. Lagasse is now the chef proprietor of 12 restaurants in New Orleans, Las Vegas, Orlando, and Bethlehem. In 1990, Chef Emerald opened Emerald's restaurant in the Warehouse District in downtown New Orleans. Two years later, he opened Nola Restaurant in the French Quarter. In 1995, Emerald bought his New Orleans cooking to Las Vegas and opened Emerald's New Orleans Fish House, located in the MGM Grand Hotel. In 1998, Lagasse opened Emerald's Delmonico in New Orleans' historic Garden District. He opened two restaurants in 1999, including Emerald's Orlando at Universal Studios City Walk and Delmonico Steakhouse in the Venetian Resort Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. In 2003, he opened Chop Chop, at Universal Orlando's Royal Specific Hotel. In February 2008, he opened Table 10 at the Palazzo in Las Vegas. He opened his first restaurant in the Northeast Emerald's Chop House on May 22, 2009 at the Sands Casino Resort Bethlehem in Pennsylvania. And Lagasse Stadium, a restaurant and sports entertainment venue, opened on September 25, 2009 at the Palazzo. His first ever burger restaurant, Burgers and More by Emerald, opened on November 22, 2009 at the Sands Bethlehem. And in June, Lagasse opened his first ever Italian restaurant, Emerald's Italian Table, making this the third restaurant by Emerald's at the Sands Bethlehem on the East Coast. The recognition and awards he has garnered have made him known to food-living Americans everywhere. His restaurants consistently win critical praise and top ratings. Emerald's Restaurant was dubbed Restaurant of the Year by John Mariani in Esquire magazine in 1990 and received the coveted Wine Spectator Grand Award in 1991. Also in 1991, Lagasse was named Best Southeast Regional Chef by the James Beard Foundation. NOLA has achieved the status of Best New Restaurant by Esquire magazine in 1993 and has been recognized nationally by Travel and Leisure and Southern Living magazines. His third restaurant, Emerald's New Orleans Fish House, was named Best Restaurant in Las Vegas by Zagat. In 2002, Delmonico Steakhouse was named Best Steakhouse by Las Vegas Life magazine. In 2004, Delmonico Steakhouse received the Grand Award from Wine Spectator magazine. Most recently, Emerald's Restaurant earned the prestigious Ivy Award. Lagasse himself has also received accolades and awards for his culinary expertise. In 1998, he was chosen as Chef of the Year by GQ magazine. In 1999, he was named one of the People magazine's 25 Most Intriguing People of the Year. 
In 2004, he was chosen as Executive of the Year by Restaurants and Institution magazine. In 2005, he received the Distinguished Service Award from Wine Spectator for his significant and long-lasting contribution to the wine industry. In 2006, he was inducted into the Menu Masters Hall of Fame by Nation's Restaurant News. In 2007, he was named Restaurateur of the Year by New Orleans City Business. In 2009, he received the Lifetime Achievement Award from Food Network South Beach Wine and Food Festival. In 2011, he was honored by James Beard Foundation for his dedicated efforts to further the culinary arts in America, as well as his philanthropic work supporting children's educational programs through the Emerald Lagasse Foundation. As a national TV personality, he has hosted over 2,000 shows on the Food Network and is the food correspondent for ABC's Good Morning America. In his latest series, Emerald's Table on Hallmark Channel, he invites viewers to join a group of five special diners at his chef's table for an intimate shared experience that includes a cooking lesson and recipes geared towards their interest. He is also the host of The Originals with Emerald on the Cooking Channel. His widely popular series, Emerald Live, also airs on, cooking, on the Cooking Channel. Who doesn't know the phenomenon of BAM? I'm going to kick it up a little bit. In addition to his television presence, Emerald has a live call-in radio program, Cooking with Emerald, which airs exclusively on Martha Stewart Living Radio on Sirius XM. He also has a new column in Everyday Food magazine where the chef and his six-year-old son, EJ, provide delicious family-friendly recipes. Emerald is the author of 15 best-selling cookbooks, including Emerald's New New Orleans Cooking, Sizzling Skillets and Other One Pot Wonders, There's a Chef in My Family, and Emerald's Potluck. In 2002, Emerald established the Emerald Lagasse Foundation to support children's educational programs that inspire and mentor young people through the culinary arts, school, food, and nutrition, and important life skills programs. Projects funded by the foundation include an outdoor classroom, gardens, fresh fruit cafeteria, and teaching kitchen at Edible Schoolyard, New Orleans, an accessible learning kitchen for special needs students at St. Michael Special School, and a culinary learning center for hospitality training for an at-risk youth group at Cafe Reconcile. In March 2011, Emerald dedicated the Emerald Lagasse Foundation Culinary Art Studio a four-year culinary arts program to high school students with Master Apprentice Curriculum at New Orleans Center for the Creative Arts. Each fall, the foundation hosts its primary annual fundraiser, Carnival Duvin, which has consistently ranked among the top 10 U.S. charity wine auctions in Wine Spectator magazine. Since 2005, Carnival Duvin has raised over 12 million for children's charities in the communities that are home to Emerald's restaurants. Chef Emerald personally contributes his time, passion, and resource to the foundation and is able to directly reach the hearts and minds of young people through participating in foundation-sponsored outreach programs, special projects, and signature foundation events. Based on the core values of the hospitality business, education, mentorship, passion, creativity, self-discipline, and pride, the foundation will leave a legacy for future shelves to be inspired for years to come.